In this video, I'm going to show you a method for generating text in mid-journey. If you have tried creating text in mid-journey, you know how difficult it is to get it to write and spell text correctly. With this method, I have found that you will be able to spell simple words out along with also generating a corresponding graphic. First, you want to create reference images that contain your text that we will upload and include in our prompts. We are making a pizza design, so that is the word we are using. Use different fonts so the AI can have different examples of what it should reference. Make sure the type is clear so it can register the word better. Once you have your images, drag and drop them in Discord and press enter to upload them. Click on each image and click on open in browser. Then copy the URL from the browser and paste it in the message box. Now do this for all four images. When you're done, copy all the links. Type slash imagine to start your mid-journey prompt and paste the links. Now we want to type our prompt. We want to repeat the word, in this case pizza, at least four times at the beginning. I like to do it in quotes and by spacing out each letter. And then I'm adding some more details like pepperoni and slice. I'm adding pizza one more time in the words text and typography at the end. Hit enter. And these are the results. We got one image with the word pizza, and it kind of looks like pizza. Here's another pizza text I was able to get when I re-rolled it. As we can see, Midjourney was able to output some text with this method, and the results are not too bad. Let's try again with a slightly new prompt. Start the same way by pasting the image links and repeating the word you want written out a few times in a few different ways. This time I'm adding the word vector and shirt and some more details about the pizza such as New York style, detailed, realistic, and repeating the word pizza at the end. These are the results. Again, at least one version generated the word we wanted. Click before to get more variations of the design. Now four designs have the word pizza. They all look pretty good. Upscale it and open in browser to save it in the highest resolution. Now I'm going to scale the image with Hit Paw Photo Enhancer. Drag and drop the image, click Denoise Model, and hit Export. This is the scaled image four times larger than the original. You can see how much sharper and cleaner the results are. Now remove the background. I'm using Photoshop and the Magic Wand tool. I also want to change this red drip to make it look like melted cheese. Select the Lasso tool and select the area you want to change the color of. Copy and paste it onto a new layer. Now go to Image, color balance, and adjust the colors to get the results you want. Now it looks more like melted cheese. Now we are going to add more text to our design using Adobe Illustrator. Scale your design on your artboard. Select the text tool to add text. I like I like pizza more than people. Scale and place your text where it looks good. Increase the stroke to make it look bolder. This is our final design. Now we are going to use AI in mid-journey to make a mock-up for our design. Our prompt for the mock-up is pizza shop, t-shirt mock-up, black shirt, mock-up photography, e-commerce mock-up. 
hit enter. These are the results. They all look decent, but I like the first one with the pizza that looks delicious. Let's upscale that. This is our upscaled mockup. Let's place our design onto the mockup in Photoshop. First, we will remove the existing design on the t-shirt. Select the lasso tool and outline the design you want to remove. Right click and select fill. Make sure it's on content aware and click OK. Now the design has been removed and blended in. Drag and drop our design. Copy it with Ctrl C for Windows and hide the layer. Make a new layer. Now go to Filter and select Vanishing Point. Make sure Create Plane Tool is selected and make the boundaries of where you would like to place the image. Paste the image with Ctrl V and drag it inside the boundary. Scale the image inside and click Enter to finish. And this is our final mockup. Right after I made this video, I uploaded the design to Amazon Merch. And in one day, or actually in a few hours, it got a sale on May 1st. It was a tank top, and here we can see I added it on April 30th. Let me know how this works or if you have any other methods for generating text in mid-journey. Write them down in the comments below. It will be helpful for others to see various methods that work and how to do them. Thank you for watching.